happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you are having a super duper great day. And I gotta warn you, this video and the videos over the next week might be a little dark and doomy. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time. My life as Planetary Defense Commander is kind of like a game show um, where every single month I depend upon your contributions and donations. And with mid-month bills coming up, I super duper really, 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 really could use a contribution or a donation now going into my nine year Thorn News anniversary in nine days. So if you would like to be my mid November miracle, I've got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron. A whole lot of love and appreciation for y'all. Okay. All year long, one of the events I've been talking about is the lunar eclipse that will happen over the 18th and the 19th in Taurus, but it will be happening over Al Gol, the demon star. Now, thousands of years back, over multiple cultures, they all referred to this as either like the evil star, the demon star, the Satan star, and they associated it with very bad events happening, and I think it was the Chinese who described it as when you had eclipses over Al Gol, you would get corpses stacked on corpses. And so I had us looking out for anything super weird and mildly demonic around the new moon, because this would be in a new moon cycle. And if you'll notice this imagery, and then you kind of had that imagery recreated at the Travis Scott Astro World concert where nine people died. And so, yeah, we are on high alert. I'm definitely going to be a bit stressed out through the rest of November. And that energy is supposed to last for three months. But not only could it come from weird shit, of course, the plague, Germany is spiking now in super crazy ways. But we are going to be on the lookout for earthquakes as well. And so we are definitely on super duper red alert for the rest of November. And today we had two earthquakes, a 6.3 and a 6.0 in Iran, I believe. Yeah, southern Iran. And so I want you to notice that you have this is pretty much happening. The La Palma volcano is about here. And if somehow you're going to get also earthquake and or volcano movement happening on the same longitude somewhere in California or USA, it would happen in Southern California. So as with the Palma, we had a bunch of earthquake, smaller earthquakes to about two weeks in advance from the major volcano eruption, we would get some signs in California. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I don't know, man. Between now and December, I just recommend people on the West Coast of the USA stay aware because it has been a very earthquake and definitely a volcano a year. And for years, I've been warning that I thought we would see an increase in volcano activity when you get all the gas giants on the same side of the sun. We have definitely been seeing that since 2017. And now I have this theory, I don't know if it's correct or not, but if we will see a magma shift, because Earth basically has been going up this line for the last, I don't know what, four months, and now it'll be shifting to go over here. And so I'm wondering if we will see a major magma shift as it goes from here to here over the next four months. So it is something we are watching out for. I'm just saying. And once again, I just want to say I'm kind of super freaked out by the fact that Germany and Europe have had a major surge in the virus. You know, it, it doubled, Germany doubled, almost doubled its worst case scenarios that came during their two other major waves. We got rocked in Texas, um, and now cases are on the rise again in the USA and in, um, but, uh, you know, when they're plateauing in Texas, and, you know, each region in the United States or each state has handled it in different ways. This is California. New York, after getting hit the hardest at the beginning, has handled it pretty much better than any other state out there. And Florida also got hit hard during the same wave period that Texas did. Although the actual worst states that were deaths per million population have been Mississippi, Alabama, New Jersey, Louisiana, and Arizona for the top five. I still believe that hopefully it will no longer be a major issue we have to deal with in the spring of 2022, 
At least that is something I've grasped onto you during the last uh, almost two years that I've been having to talk about it every single day almost. And it is definitely not my favorite subject by any means. And I almost end up like a, a crossing guard, school mom cop who's always trying to have to remind people to make good choices and play good defense while not living in fear. Anyhow, crazy year, man. Definitely crazy year. And while I'm talking about stuff that makes people uncomfortable and is death-related, Blue Origin, we are devastated to hear of the sudden passing of Glenn DeVries. He has brought so much life and energy to the entire Blue Origin team and to his fellow crewmates. His passion for aviation, his charitable work, and his dedication to his craft will be long revered and admired. He was one of the astronauts that went on the William Shatner journey, and then he died in a small plane crash just the other day. And I think he was a big businessman in the medical industry. And so, yeah, it is definitely doomier and creepier than I want it to be. <sighs> All right, let's get to simpler weather. Wait, let me just say, so do your best to, like, stay cool, stay calm, you know, like, avoid confrontation, avoid drive, bad drivers, and just getting mad at each other. Because these are going to be some strange times, some strange days. Everybody's going to be stressed out um, because of the holidays, money, the virus, all things, you know. So just do your best to stay cool. And remember to water your Christmas tree. See, it's like it's so doomy and gloomy. Shit is just weird, bro. This is the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Um, Water your Christmas tree. A dry Christmas tree burns faster than newspaper. And the earthquakes that hit Iran seem to be pretty dang major. So, the, you know, so much so that it shook up a bit of a dust storm. So, yeah, we definitely live in strange and interesting times. And, you know, I'm just asking everybody to increase their prayer game, their kindness game, their be cool game, their stay aware game. This is what I do. James Wilson letting us know through meteorologist Heather Tesh that we got a clipper that'll be busting through parts of the mid and upper northeast over the next early week. You've got another atmospheric river coming into the Pacific Northwest. Over the next seven days, it could bring up to two feet of snow to Canada and Washington. I'm talking Whistler. <whistles> I tried to do whistle while you work, but then I failed. You got snow in Ohio. You got snow in Ohio. And it's their first accumulating snow of the season. And Algol um, is in the head of Medusa, just above the Pleiades. So there's a whole lot of um, heavenly mythology in all of this, it seems. Billionaires are feeling feisty these days. Um, Elon Musk went from like, I don't know, being worth $20 billion to being worth $300 billion during the pandemic, said to 80-year-old senator from Vermont, I keep forgetting that you're still alive, when Bernie was saying that the richest people on the planet should pay their fair share of taxes. But at this point, it's almost like, man, the billionaires and trillionaires are... are kings above our government so we are almost at, at their beck and call it would seem and this picture from argentina almost sums up the feeling going into the holiday season of everybody's going to try to do their best and get their work done and work together as a team as much as they can as you have big major storms on the horizon heading our way 2021 has definitely been like a volcano advent calendar with the cumbre vija volcano in the canary islands erupting on September 18th and has not shown any signs of stopping. And, you know, we've had a, we're a, had an advent calendar of volcanoes almost all, all year long. And so we're still waiting to see if November has a major volcano eruption. And of course, to end the year, September, I mean, I'm sorry, December. And then we have our uh, third and final year in a square Eris on Christmas Eve. The first time we had that major storm in Texas, where they shut the power grid down. The second time was a major heat wave that killed a bunch of Canadians. And then the third time, I don't know, but we know that we should be ready for a boss fight around Christmas. So it will definitely be a very interesting 
end of the year. And then we have America's Pluto, Pluto return on February the 20th, 2022. So buckle up and get ready. And oh yeah, Hawaii, you guys have a flash flood watch in effect through early Monday. I'm looking at you, Hannah. But yeah, strange and weird days for sure. So put on your fur, full armor of God, stay cool, and do your best to make it through. All right? And you know, as Planetary Defense Commander, it is my job, I feel, to always give you good information, even though it's bad news. And so, like, I, I just, I don't know, you know, like, I, hopefully Texas has gone through the worst. Hopefully Florida has gone through the worst. I've been saying all year that I think in the winter, northern states need to definitely be on guard. But the news with the data coming out of Europe is super, like, super concerning. I did not imagine, well, but the, I don't know, the winter, oh, I didn't think this winter wave, with all the things that have gone, it would be worse. But it is the data suggesting it is a possibility. So I'm just I'm letting you know that with all the things, yeah, I've been talking about November all year, in the middle of it through December. So we're there, man. So do your very best, okay? Sounds good. And I thank y'all for all the love and support through such a brutal year, a brutal two years, and even all nine years. And if you can kick some support my way, I need it. And I would really appreciate it. And I would like to be here at least through the year doing what I can to give you guys good information. It has been a, a fight tooth and nail every step of the way. But hopefully I will get a miracle or two and make it through. But you will be part of my miracle if I'm lucky. Like I said, I got a snail mail, a PayPal, Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron. I'm trying to stay as optimistic as possible. Definitely some days are tougher than others. Thank you to Dennis, Cody, and everyone in Astro Fight Club. You guys have been amazing. I will talk to y'all in the very near future. God bless everyone.